Greetings, this is Steve Reed, Stephen Reed Coaching and Stephen Reed Ministries. I am thrilled to pieces to be with you today to announce the release of my latest project. Now, I've had several different projects that I've released in the past. I've got a couple of novels. I've got a book of testimonies of how people change their lives. And my most recent project back in the summer of 2021 was a little devotional book called Lessons from the Crutches. But this book is very different. This book is, is really designed for that busy professional. The title of the project is Strategies for Success, Success Planning for Professionals. It's a workbook. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, why in the world did I produce a workbook? We've got so many calendar programs that are out there. This is not a calendar program. This is very different. This is really getting into the nitty gritty of your strategies and true long-term planning, not just planning for today or tomorrow or this week or next month. This is a long-term planning project. And you're probably thinking, well, Steve, there are a lot of other things out there. Well, there are. But what I've done is I've taken the, kind of the cream of the crop, the things that I've been doing for many years, and I've put it into a usable format for me initially. It was what I needed, okay? And I thought to myself, oh, wait a second, why don't I do this so that other people can share in some of these same processes to make it easier for them as well? So here are some of the topics that we cover as we go through this workbook. Number one is, why plan for success? Now, a lot of people, they have no clue. In fact, they don't even plan for success. Instead, what they do is, is they, January 1st every year, they wake up, sometimes sober, sometimes not, and they think to themselves, well, I guess I need to write my resolutions. And by the 15th of the month, they have totally failed at every single one of them. That's not what this is. This is true strategic planning for you for the upcoming year and, and really for the rest of your life. Number two is we're going to go through some of the goals for the workbook. There are a lot of different types of goals that I have that I spell out in, in pretty good detail with us. Here's another one for you. How about SMART goals? Do you have SMART goals? Do you have those strategic goals that are in place that are measurable things that you can achieve? And is it, you know, stuff that you know that you can actually get? And are they timely goals? What about those self-care things? Are you starting out every day the right way with affirmations, with drinking enough water, with exercise, with having a good positive attitude? Do you take good self-care yourself on a day-to-day -day basis. Now we've got life goals. Now a lot of people just go wandering through life. Mr. Ziegler, Zig Ziegler used to say all the time, uh, ask the question, are you a wandering generality? Now I don't want you to be a wandering generality. I want you to have those life goals. Maybe, maybe you want to have uh, another degree. Maybe you want to get married. Maybe you want to have children. Maybe you want to retire someday. Maybe you want to write a book. Maybe you want to take a, a six-month cruise. Whatever the case is, what are your life goals? And then we're going to look at, look at those assessment things. We're going to look in the mirror. Are you a good person? Are you doing the right things? Are you treating people the right way? That's kind of an overview type thing as a reflective thing about really... Who are you? Now, one of my favorite sections is the next section, and that's brainstorming. Have you ever started out your year by having a blank sheet of paper and you say, what do I want to do this year? Now, we generally don't. We start usually out with that calendar or they have, we have those handwritten goals. But I want, to, I want to take you in a different direction with the brainstorming. Just really think outside of that, that proverbial box, what if you had no constraints on you? Could you achieve greater things? Here's another direction that I take people with this workbook project, and that is reviewing your previous year. Now, what do you mean reviewing your previous year? Well, let's look at the things that worked. 
Now, obviously, we want to celebrate those things that did work, but are you thinking also about the things that didn't work? Not just what didn't work, but why didn't it work? Did you need more skill? Did you need other people? Were there big obstacles? Were there financial challenges? Why didn't things work the way you wanted them to work? Were there health challenges that you had to overcome? Now we start moving forward. We're going to look at the planning things that we need to do. And we're going to look at your financial goals. Do you have annual goals? Do you have weekly goals, monthly goals? Do you have daily goals? Depending on how you are doing your business. Now we're going to look at those new client goals. Do you have goals specifically set aside for the new clients or customers that you want to bring into your business? What about marketing goals and strategic things, social media things? Are there other marketing tools and, and tips that you need to implement in your day-to-day -day excursion through this, this business world and through this world called life? What about the obstacles that you may have in business? What about the obstacles you have in life? Think about what those obstacles are and how you need to overcome each of those different types of obstacles. Are there introductions that you would like to have made? Now, what do you mean introductions? Well, maybe you want to meet all city managers for all of the communities within a 10-mile radius of you. Maybe you want to meet the president or CEO of every company that has more than 100 employees. Maybe you want to meet all of the HR managers, or maybe, I don't know what those, those introductions are. Maybe you want to meet a famous author. Maybe you want to meet a famous musician or a famous playwright. Who are the people that you want to meet, and who knows those people? I'll give you a case in point. I was talking with a gentleman not too long ago, and I mentioned somebody's name, and he says, well, I can introduce you to him. Oh, wow, that is really cool. I like that, okay? Here's another one for you. Do you have good health and fitness goals? Are you healthy? Is your blood pressure the way it needs to be? Is your blood glucose or your blood sugar level where it needs to be? Are you getting enough exercise? Are you sleeping enough? So we're going to look at some of those health and fitness goals. Now we're going to shift gears a little bit. We're going to talk about why you should hire a coach. Now, obviously, as a coach, I think you should hire me. But here are the three top reasons why people do not hire a coach. Number one is pride. They think, well, I'm 50 years old. I've made it this far, this far without a coach. Why do I need... Maybe that's number one. Maybe it's pride. And you just, you're too proud and you don't want to admit that maybe you could, could use some help. Maybe here's, a, here's another reason. Maybe you don't know whom to hire. You've never really considered hiring a coach and, and you don't know what direction to go. And you think, well, I, I don't, I'm doing okay fitness-wise, but and I'm eating okay, so I don't need to hire a coach. Well, there are a lot of other kinds of coaches. So maybe you need different types of coaches in your world. And the third reason why people don't hire a coach is because they think it's going to cost too much. Well, what if your coach was able to point out something that could save you 10 hours, 30 hours, maybe a week? Maybe if that coach was able to show you a way, you could save a tremendous amount of money, $100, $500, $5,000. Maybe that coach actually showed you how you could implement something that would have saved you well over the investment in hiring that coach. Now, one of my favorite authors, speakers, coaches, mentors was the man by the name of Zig Ziglar. Absolutely amazing individual. Always, always positive and encouraging. And many years ago, he came out with what he called the wheel of life. And it's this simple little wheel that has seven spokes in the wheel. And his premise was that everything falls into one of these seven different spokes. And they're all interconnected. And the seven spokes are your mental spoke, spiritual, physical, your family spoke, financial spoke, career, 
and finally your personal spoke. And they all intertwine. They all interconnect. So are you in balance in all seven of those areas? I'm going to give you an opportunity to go through an assessment using the Wheel of Life assessment tool that I've included in this workbook. As we start to wrap up, we're going to talk about the reflections. What did you learn as you were going through this process? Did it, did it un, unfold some things in front of you or reveal some things about yourself and what you could have done better last year and maybe you're going to implement, implement into the coming year? Maybe those reflections are the critical things that you need to do. Now, I finally wrap things up with the implementation phase. Now, before I give you this final wrap-up, I want to tell you a, a cute little story. Now, I use this, this analogy or this anecdote a lot. In fact, any of my clients, you ask them, I've told them this story at least one time. And it's all about five bullfrogs. You see, five bullfrogs are sitting on lily pads. Three of them decide they're going to jump off. How many of the frogs are left on the lily pads? Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, Steve, that's a pretty simple math question, okay? I thought you said you were college educated. Yes, I is college educated, okay? But I will tell you this is not a math question. It's not an arithmetic question. It's not 2 plus 2 equals, okay? It's real simple. But it has nothing to do with math. Listen to the words again. There are five bullfrogs sitting on lily pads. Three of them decide they are going to jump off. How many frogs are left? Well, the answer is all five. Because those three frogs only decided they never actually jumped off the lily pads. So is that where you are today? Have you decided that you're going to go through this workbook? Have you decided once you've completed the workbook that you're going to just put it on a shelf and forget about it? Have you decided you're going to implement all of these things, but you haven't taken any action? Now is the time to take action. Once you've completed the workbook, take action. Well, here's one of the things that you need to decide to do right now. Take action by downloading a sample of this workbook. That's not the entire workbook. I'm giving you some ideas, some oversights on this particular workbook. Take a look at this workbook. And I think you're going to discover some really cool things as you go through this. Now, here's another decision opportunity. What if you say, Steve, I like everything that you are saying. How can I get a copy of the workbook? Well, you just simply fill out the forms and you can go to my website, stephenreadministries.com, and you can download the workbook, the entire workbook, right there for only $49. And here's the great thing. It's in a PDF format that you can fill in all of the blanks. So you can use it week after week, month after month, and year after year. It's something that you can use over and over again. So consider downloading your copy of this workbook, Strategies for Success, Success Planning for Professionals. If that fits you, maybe today is the day that you need to take action with this incredible workbook tool. That's all I've got for right now. I appreciate you spending a few minutes with me, and I hope you will take an opportunity to download this sample. And let's start working together. And if down the road you'd like to hire me as your coach to help you with this and other projects, I'd be greatly honored to have that conversation. I hope you have a blessed day today. Goodbye for now. You know, there's one last thing I wanted to share with you. If after you have downloaded this, this great workbook and you've decided, Steve, I want more. What if, what if we were to sit down for a strategy session? Well, here's another offer for you. If you qualify and you're ready to take action and you qualify right now, we can schedule a strategy session. And this is a complimentary 60-minute, one-hour strategy session. We're going to look at some of the things that have been holding you back 
And we're going to put a plan together for how you can overcome those obstacles and achieve great success in your world. So if you'd like to take advantage of that complimentary strategy session, once you've downloaded this workbook, then reach out. Let's have that conversation. And we can have a, a virtual cup of coffee together. Again, this is Steve Reed, Stephen Reed Ministries, Stephen Reed Coaching. I hope you have a blessed day today. Goodbye for now.